Howdy. Today is a very funny build. This is one that I ooh, oh so have been looking forward to, just like the one before with Wisp build. This build is really funny and actually effective. So it is centered around Lavos and the Falcor. These are the two main things that matter and everything else is just a bonus on top of it. Now let us go right over here. Oh, hey, you, it's you. You should totally subscribe. Definitely for sure. Anyways, here's my Lavos fashion. I've been forgetting to show the fashion, but I think my Lavos looks pretty snazzy. Wait a second. This is the wrong Lavos fashion. Why is his helmet messed up? Hold up. I just realized. Oh, Tenogen doesn't cross over from PlayStation to PC. That's dumb. Anyways, Lavos, Lavos, Lavos. I'm going to assume most of you know how Lavos works. I mean, you don't need to understand his entire kit for this to work anyways. The main thing is Valance Formation. This is what we really care about. When you combine two of his elements with his passive and use an ability, it adds 200% of that element to any of your weapons. And that is what we care about. Now, that bonus damage does not scale with strength be it negative or positive. So we can actually nuke our strength here and not care about it. And we want high duration so we don't have to recast all the time, but also for another reason. Lavos has another part of his passive. Status duration scales with his duration stat. This is additive to mods that increase status duration on your weapons. And this is the main gist of what we care about. Okay, balance formation to give us gas in high duration to make it last forever. So corrosive projection here is just to help strip armor so we do more damage, mobilize so we're faster, precision intensify so we can still get damage out of a four, uh, prime redirection just for some survivability, prime flow for energy, narrow-minded, auger message, and prime continuity, and multi-efficiency all for duration, overextended to help fix our range, and Aegis for more survivability. So, if we go down here to the Rauda, this is just going to be here so that we can build our combo. Nothing else really matters with it. Other than, I guess, primary dexterity is nice, so we have longer combo duration. And then the main thing is the Falcor. Now, Falcor is extra snazzy because of how it works. So unlike other weapons, other glaives specifically, it actually tracks right off the bat so if i throw it above these enemies it's going to track them and bounce off of them whereas normal glaives you have to at least hit an enemy first before it kicks in the tracking now we don't have to worry about that with this also it has infinite punch through which cannot be cancelled out meaning volatile rebound lets it make explosions while still bouncing around and punching through everything and with Valence Formation, we don't have to build gas on the weapon. Now, gas is an element that is similar to Blast in how the DOT damage scales with elemental scaling. And that it doesn't increase in damage by adding more of the element that makes it. So if we add heat to a weapon we're building with heat, the more heat bonus, the more heat DOT damage it does. But if we have gas and we add more heat and toxin, it will not increase the damage of gas. However, it does increase if you have pure gas damage. But that's not usually relevant because there aren't very many sources in the game that give a pure gas damage elemental bonus. But Valve's Formation does. So that is going to triple the gas damage we would do if we had gas built on the weapon separately. Now, we get more damage without having to build it on the weapon. It also force procs on every single hit, which makes it even better. We have Weeping Wounds because we still want decent stats chance for even more gas procs, as well as electric procs to proc melee influence and to do damage itself. Whirlwind makes us faster. Shocking Touch so we get more electric DOT damage because why not? Melee Elementals for big damage on our gas procs. Volatile Rebound, like I said, for the explosions. Blood Rush, Amalgam Organ Shatter, so we have some level of crit. Lasting Sting for even longer gas clouds. And Prime Pressure Point for melee damage. Condition Overload might be better here, but I'm still not sure if this works on the explosions because I heard someone say it doesn't, so we're going to stick with Prime Pressure Point for now. 
Now with this all together, right, 110% status duration from Lasting Sting, and with Molt Efficiency active, our duration is going to go all the way up to 305%. And because it stacks additively, that means we are now having a 315% status duration increase on gas clouds that are going to do a humongous badungus amount of damage. And I'm not going to put it on yet, but we're also going to be using a hound to spread lots more statuses to apply to stuff. So we're mostly just killing stuff with our Falcor, but because you can wield it with a secondary, I also have the Prisma Angstrom and Karnon just because I like it. It's funny and it does big damage. Who doesn't love shooting bouncing fireballs? Now we simulate these enemies. I'm not even going to build up my melee combo because that's just overkill here. Add in our gas. There it goes. Come over to these enemies. And we throw it. And there goes melee influence. All of them are at max gas clouds. Just keeps ticking away. No viral procs. We only threw two hits. It didn't even activate melee influence on the first hit. And just look at that. The gas clouds just keep going. Still there. These gas clouds last for a whopping, uh, I think it's 25 seconds, 26 seconds. Yeah, I believe it's about 26 seconds. Gas clouds. That's a long time. <laughs> and they're going to be all over the place because this glaive bounces all the way down hallways, eviscerating everything. We're creating gas clouds that last nearly half a minute on every enemy we hit. And they're doing big PP damage. So with this build, you don't need a Helminth. You can see we have no Helminth here. So that it's not needed to put one on. But if you did want to maximize your damage, I'd put Roar on because it will double dip on DOTs and it triple dips on melee influence DOTs. So it will give you an ungodly amount of damage. Though you are going to need to have decent strength to make that work. So you won't want to nuke your strength. Instead, you'll probably end up nuking your range instead. So I would take Overextended off and replace it with like Blind Rage probably or Umbral Intensify. But right now we're not using a helmet. So we'll just be showing the weapon asses. I will be using Vazrin mostly with Protective Sling and Guardian Break and Guardian Shields to keep me alive so I don't get pulverized. Which is why we have a high shield gate here with Primed Redirection. And let us put on a Hound. This is the Hound build, pretty standard. We just want to spread lots of statuses like Magnetic and Viral mostly so that everything is covered in status effects. Now let us go into a mission. I'll see you there. Here we are in a, another mission. Another mission, a mission. We're in a mission. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Because we have Vazrin here and we are not using Nermon, you are going to want to be careful about keeping your combo built up, but it shouldn't be too difficult because we have Rauda. So that makes life much, much easier. You can hold both buttons, both the triangle and X, or if you're using PC controls, it would be different, but to infuse more than one element at once. So that's something very much worth keeping note of. Now we just spread gas clouds all over the place. And look. <laughs> and they're still taking damage down there. It's amazing. This is such a funny build. It's like a mini Saren. Isn't it beautiful? Except Saren still has to keep track of her spores all the time. This doesn't require me to keep track of my spores all the time. So it's a lot less effort. Obviously, it's probably not going to be as much damage as Saren would be. But I'd still say it's pretty damn effective, right? And that's what matters, is that we kill stuff, right? I mean, Saren does so much damage. She's overkilling on damage most of the time anyways. So we don't care about having that much damage. This mission is not the best in the world to show this off, but I don't really know what else to do. I mean, this has hallways and stuff. I can't really go to a level cap right now. I don't have the time for that sad face, but I'm quite confident that this is going to work 
pretty much anywhere in the game. I mean, it's it's a lot of damage. And if you really need more damage, just have teammates, right? If team if your teammates are also around with a companion priming, there's going to be plenty of viral on everything at all times. And you can also, like I had said earlier with the build, you can add in Roar, which is going to significantly increase your damage. I mean, let's just say you have the base damage or base strength of 100% and you add in Roar because it triple dips on the melee influence DOT. It's going to be 1.3 times, or it's going to be your damage multiplied by 1.3, multiplied by 1.3, multiplied by 1.3 again it because it triple dips so like you know just for the sake of easy number not hard to forget say it was like 10,000 damage and it's going to be 13,000 damage but then that 13,000 damage is is going wait crap i'm going to die and i forgot to cast my gas that 13,000 damage is then going to go up even higher and i'm bad at math but we're gonna think it out right 1690 so then that 1690 ends up going even higher that's like 5100 because we can round that's a lot easier than not rounding hang on i'm gonna die if i'm not careful here so then our damage ends up being what 22,000. so it's like a 2.2 x damage increase just to have roar at base strength you're doing more than double the damage and that's not hard to, to get and with this high of duration, Roar is going to last longer than the cooldown is on Lavos. Since, you know, Lavos has cooldowns instead of energy. And this also is going to help your teammates because there's gas clouds all over the place. So imagine having four Lavos people built with this. Four, <laughs> four people with this. All built. And if you wanted, you could also make it even more intense by getting a Riven for the Falcor with status duration. And then making it even more intense by adding in red shards because i have one parkour velocity one shield capacity and one casting speed on my lavos but you can actually make do without any of those so imagine five reds all for duration for another 75 percent duration you could easily get up to like that plus the raven you could easily get up to like 40 45 second duration gas clouds all over the place at all times and they would stack if you had blueberries uh, all over the place, right? I mean, I guess sort of. You can't like have multiple gas clouds from different people on the same target to create bigger, like several gas clouds. But you kill an enemy, an enemy spawns, dies in that place, kills again, and then those two gas clouds do stack on top of each other. My only sad face emoji with this build is that it doesn't stack multiplicatively the status duration increase from lavos with status duration mods that would have been even funnier <laughs> i mean that'd be a, <laughs> just a tad bit busted but it would be really really funny i'm not even sure i'm gonna be able to kill this guy maybe if i use our beautiful angstrom i have here in this build because you know that we do have it here for a reason can i and bro why can i not there we are i was gonna say is it broken right now like i can't go into my um i think that would have been really unfortunate look the gas clouds are actually decimating him i should just kept throwing falcor i didn't even need to switch weapons just let the acolyte run around in the gas clouds and die that's all you have to do and the more enemies there are the more gas clouds there are and then if you add in stuff like grouping bro okay three vobins with this and then or sorry three lavoses with this build and then like one vobin to suck stuff in since the vobin has a very effective sucky suck oh my god that'd be very funny very funny indeed that's gonna do it if you like the video then maybe leave a like and subscribe adios